don't distinguish between sci-fi tropes that we're interested in. Like, what is it about turning invisible or whatever, and thoughts about that, movies that we like, and also very much infused in that, just personal memories. Oh, Pooping yeah, yeah, your yeah. pants in sixth grade, and like, <laughs> like, like gr because we've got two adolescent kids on the show, and then we've also got parents that are that are perpetually on the verge of divorce and things so domestic like uh, granularity is very important so yeah. anything that we talk about that gets a reaction from the room we try to just flag that and then we try to find the stories in those things yeah and you talk to yourself when you yeah. get into the booth <laughs> yeah or do you do i'm going to do a session as rick and then i'm going to do a session as um, morty Season, it, it depends on the episode. Uh, it, it also depends on my voice. Like right now, it's like, oh, geez, Rick. Oh, man. Morty, your voice is a little rough today. You're not sounding like yourself. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun last night, yeah, Morty. Yeah, I was out pretty late last night, Rick. Screaming. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I'll, I, it's actually a lot more fun to go in the booth if my voice will allow, which is most of the time, and just riff. You know, I'll, I'll always do uh, uh, Morty first all the way through, Rick all the way through, and then at the end, I'll, I'll run scenes. There's certain scenes where I sort of, I know, you know, uh, I know the gist, I know what, what, what information needs to be hit, and then I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll screw around. And I'll ad-lib a bunch of weird stuff. I mean, and that's kind of like a, a, nice, a nice ingredient to it that when we get to the radio play edit, we kind of find these weird things that I, my weird dyslexic brain, uh, w without thinking, you know, it just comes out of my mouth. It would have never... It's something you would never think to, to actually type. Which you know is, what I mean? which it's is like, the origin of the Rick's catchphrase, Wubble Lubba Dubba, yeah, which like, started out as an episode. I wrote the first draft, and I wrote, Rick drops to the floor and spins around and, and goes, whoop, 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 like curly. Yeah, and then a, Dan did his pass and was like, eh, he does the woof, woof, woof like Arsenio. And then Justin and Booth is like, I don't know what any of that stuff means. He says Wubble Lubba Dubba. Dub. <laughs> well, like, I mean, I knew the right, Arsenio the thing, but I was like, I thought it would be funnier if, if he didn't get it right. He's like, you know, isn't that what Arsenio? Isn't that the Arsenio thing? Wubble lubba dub dub. Is Arsenio? And, and, and then, and then somehow that became a catchphrase. <laughs> and then, and then we were like, well, let's undercut the catchphrase, uh, and let everyone know that it means I'm in great pain. Please help me. But then I think that only helped reinforce the catchphrase. Uh,